What up? Check out my sick ride. Mmm, look at that. Mmm, mmm. See that? Candidate for pimp my ride right there. You like that shit? And before I get a comment from somebody saying I need to get my car fixed, here's what I'll do. I'll link my PayPal account to you, send me the money over, and I'll fix the car. Cheers. Good. Alright guys, so I just got home, I was getting ready to make something to eat, but first, finally got the package I've been waiting for. Um, I don't think I mentioned it, but about two weeks ago I was contacted on bodybuilding.com and asked if I were, would be interested in running a supplement log, um, just reviewing some of Promira's newer supplements. Uh, it's also a little contest they have going on, so I figured it'd be fun, I'm contest prep anyway, so it'd give me something else to keep me motivated. Uh, I thought I was going to have these supplements like a week ago because I started the log last week when they told me I had to start, but they just got here, so I'm going to open this up and I really don't remember exactly what they sent me, so I'm going to figure it out here in a second. Alright, so... Beta Creep 2.0 pre-workout. Um, I know this is a little bit higher caffeinated than the older Beta Creep. Other than that, I'm not sure the difference. I'll compare the two later because I have an old bottle of the Beta Creep in my cabinet. Um, Pump Extreme Nitric Oxide Booster. I believe this also has some caffeine as well. Yeah, another 200 milligrams in this one. So I'll figure out how I'm going to stack the two together. Probably won't do a full scoop of each or something like that. I'm not sure yet. And the third product being... I don't need that anymore. Um, looks like I got another Pump Extreme. I don't think that was supposed to happen, but they were free, so whatever. I was expecting this one to be the Peak 400, so what it should have been. Um, either way, um, two bottles of Pump Extreme and a bottle of Beta Creek. So I'm not going to complain. Uh, I do know that one of these was supposed to be a Peak 400, but either way, Blue Raspberry. Lemon lime and blue raspberry. So, got those finally. Now it's time to find some food. Breaking my fast like a boss today, guys. Check this out. Boom, look at that. Mmm, look at all that food. It's a feast right there. I got three fourths a can of green beans, two and three fourths servings of the Normandy blend veggies, topped with a uh, three fourths a serving of shredded Parmesan six whole eggs and four ounces of blackened chicken breast there with a little small bit of balsamic vinegar thrown on top it's about to be delicious guys and right here a little glass crystal light peach tea which is also freaking good so i'm gonna feast out and melissa and i are gonna watch a movie what up guys, I'm at work, um, I just got finished, just got off, so I just changed, I'm going to go to the gym, um, new pre-workout for tonight, uh, like I had mentioned before, um, when I showed you guys that I got this in the mail, I got the um, Pump Extreme and the Beta Creek 2.0 from the Premier Reps on Bodybuilding.com so for this contest, and to log them and just try them out and stuff, so, I figured I'd throw that up on here since I just got them, um, you can see the Pump Extreme and the Beta Creek 2.0 unopened. I couldn't really decide how I wanted to use these. Um, so when I did cardio this morning, I used half a scoop of Pump Extreme, the lemon lime flavor. It was pretty good, pretty mild. Um, almost tasted kind of like a um, flat soda. Like that type of lemon lime taste just without the fizz, if that makes any sense. But what I'm going to do with the Beta Creek and the Pump Extreme tonight is I'm going to stack these. Um, about a half a scoop of each since they do have 200 milligrams of caffeine in each. And 400 milligrams of caffeine to keep me up all night. I might do three fourths a scoop of each, ish, somewhere right in there. So, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna give it a try. Let's see what it's like. What's going on, guys? Back again with another vlog for you. Um, I'm gonna take you through this push workout and just talk about it a little bit. Um, this is my third week here on this cycle of the um, full body uh, push pull legs, which means I'm doing these eight sets of three dynamic work with 180. Um, and then my paused rep is at 2.30, I believe, and then my AMRAP's at 2.45. So right here you see my paused rep. Um, I'm trying to really work on making sure I um, set up the same way every time. Uh, so you see I put my feet on the bench there and just kind of get my 
shoulder set in, and then bring my feet down. Um, this has been helping me a little bit. Uh, one thing about this workout was I didn't have anybody spotting me. Um, more importantly, lifting off to me. I don't like lifting the bar out, anything over like 200 pounds, because sometimes it bothers my shoulder and my rotator cuff, and I've just always been a little iffy with it. Um, so here you'll see my AMRAP set. I ended up getting three reps, but they were kind of shaky, and I feel like I wasted a lot of energy on that lift out. Um, I just I just don't like doing it. I don't feel comfortable lifting the bar out. Uh, either way, though, I mean, I can't be mad because I my mock meet this week, I singled 150 and then got a triple with 145 a couple days later, so it's not a bad thing. Um, the next exercise was overhead dumbbell press seated, which I forgot to film. Um, I did go a little bit heavier on those, and I have been lately. I can't remember exactly what it was at, but I do know it was heavier. So what you see here is the um, neutral grip dumbbell, dumbbell ugh, I can't talk tonight guys, um, the neutral grip dumbbell bench press. Uh, I did four sets of 12 with this, um, and I kept them all at 50 pound dumbbells. Um, this is another one that if I'm not real strict on my form as far as um, keeping my elbows tight and like the travel of the dumbbells, it'll put some stress on my shoulders, so got to be iffy with that. Um, so I followed that up with three sets of bodyweight dips, as you can see here. Um, I go to failure on these. I ended up getting 15 on all the sets. Um, I didn't really hit absolute failure, though. Uh, left it a couple reps shy just when I started getting shaky on them. Um, as you can see there, that last one I kind of pushed out and then moved on. After that, I went to a shoulder superset, supersetting dumbbell laterals with um, dumbbell rear, rear delts. And as you can see in this shot here, the lighting was crazy half natty lighting a piece right there um weird makes me look kind of jacked <laughs> um normally i would do these rear delts here on an incline bench but the benches were all in use tonight so you see me just placing my head there i know it looks really weird but what it does is it stops me from using any momentum um as far as like letting my body bounce at all so it keeps me pretty rigid and it feels pretty much the same as the incline bench um Followed that up with dumbbell preacher curls, four sets of eight on each arm. Um, I just did these with a 30 pound dumbbell. I'm not really focusing on trying to be super strong. I mean, they're just freaking curls. It doesn't even matter. Um, so just getting the feel for them, um, you know, getting that bodybuilder freaking pump right there. Uh, after this, I was supposed to do skull crushers, but my elbows were bothering me. Um, so I skipped out on them. But either way, you know, I'm like eight weeks out or so um feeling good i still like i've been saying i'd like to drop like another 12 pounds i, I want to see the weight start dropping i want to break below 170 for the show so that's where i'm at what's going on everyone just got out of the gym um so tonight like you saw a little bit ago was my first night using the betacrete um pump extreme stack uh, i use about a half a scoop of pump, pump extreme and about three fourths a scoop of the beta crete um honestly um energy wise seemed to work pretty well i had a pretty long day at work i was feeling pretty tired i was telling some of the guys i was feeling tired earlier um and i felt good through the whole workout um i didn't notice an extensive pump or anything crazy um at this point so i'll keep you guys posted on that um flavoring was good like I just said, energy was good. Um, that's about it. I mean, it was a standard hypertrophy workout. Um, went pretty well. I cut out the last exercise uh, because my it's a freaking um, skull crusher. My elbows were just killing me on the first set, so I just I was done with it. Um, and I forgot to film seated dumbbell overhead press. So that was the workout. Um, I only got three reps on my AMRAP on bench. I would have liked to have gotten more. I think if I would have had a spotter to lift the weight out to me and then to be there so I could push it a little bit, I could have gotten four or five, but three's not bad. So I'm happy about it. I'm going to go home, finish out the night, eat some food, watch some TV, probably stay up all night because I have a bunch of caffeine in my system.